Here you go, bitch. Uh. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Data, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Went to sleep at 8, and then I woke up at 8. So if your, your little moodle there is red, that means you need 12 hours of sleep. I'm going to try and keep that in mind so we don't get our sleep schedule flipped around again. Because it was not fun to run around at night. Oh my god, look, it's raining. That is so wonderful. So uh, I can read a little bit from my first aid manual. And uh, then I can end up burning these books, which is <laughs> gonna be even more nice. So let's let's do some creepy pasta as I read my my little book. I think that'll be quite nice, and I hope that you'll enjoy, friends. The tale called Evaporation from a fellow known as Arch Feared, and it goes as such: Water, water is the cornerstone of life. It nourishes us, irrigates our crops, and waters our livestock. Water is vital for all known forms of life. We rely on it to wash our cars, clean our food, produce our power. It has an effect on almost every activity that you do in everyday life. Without it, civilization would cease to function. Governments would collapse, crippled by an undefeatable enemy. Drought. It would be a matter of days, no longer than a week before every living thing on Earth perished. In short, we can't live without water. Two days ago, we were forced to begin doing just that. I don't really know how it began. Nobody that's left alive does. During the initial hours of it, theories range from the barely plausible, like a new form of greenhouse gas, to the ridiculous, such as a new type of light that only evaporated water. I remember those hours fondly. The true enormity of what had happened had not yet sunk in, and hysteria hadn't yet clutched the human race. What happened? I'll put it simply. The first was that every single drop of fresh water on the entire planet evaporated instantly. I don't think I can do this event justice, but I'll try. Can you imagine every single river, every single lake, every single natural resource of water drying up instantly without a rational explanation? I doubt you can, but that's exactly what happened. It wasn't restricted to natural sources either. As far as I can tell, all the bottled water in the world also evaporated, as did that in water tanks and other similar sources. It also disappeared from other substances, including soft drinks, which created some foul-smelling sugar compounds that would make those that consumed it quite ill. There was not a single drop of fresh water left anywhere on Earth for anyone to drink. But by far the worst result of the lack of water was the nuclear reactors. Without pressurized water, most of the nuclear reactors in the entire world, those that utilized purified water as a coolant, had no sources of coolant, and just under half, half of these had poor, untested failsafe plans. The resulting effect of this led to a catastrophic nuclear meltdown in roughly 46% of water-cooled reactors. The world, already re reeling from the unprecedented situation, then fell into total anarchy. International communication ceased after almost exactly 24 hours. But there was a second effect, the saltwater poisoning. Many people flocked to desalination plants in the first few hours, hoping for salvation. They found none. At approximately the same time as the worldwide evaporation, saline increased fivefold in every sea or ocean on Earth. Desalination plants were able to cope with this load for approximately 24 hours. Then fuel began to run low. And with the imminent collapse of civilization thanks to the mul multiple nuclear catas catastrophes, no more was delivered. Thus, the last ever drop of fresh water on Earth was pumped out no later than midnight yesterday. After the drought came the collapse. With no water available, civilization soon descended into anarchy. Governments, typical of authority to the very end, tried to maintain order, but it didn't work either. Soldiers rebelled, shooting rioters and runners alike. Those who didn't die were brutally executed moments after. They turned on each other soon enough, with only a few militaries intact from the carnage. The deserters all fled, unwilling to stay and watch the extinction of Earth. But then came the worst, far worse than anything before it. There was, in fact, one source of water that hadn't been touched. And I'm lucky to realize that before anyone else in my town. It was blood. Blood, which is over 90% water, was the only remaining liquid that was fit to drink. And so some did. At first, I didn't believe it. It was way too horrific. Animals went first. The desperate drank the blood of cats and dogs and pets and feral animals of all kinds. 
Many offered too little blood to be of any value. The situation was made worse by the fact that I live in is a rather large metropolitan city, and beyond domesticated pets and the odd feral animals, there were no animals to catch and drink from. Perhaps those in the country fared better, but I have no way of finding out, and frankly, I don't really care. I knew then that humans were the only other option. I first saw it twelve hours ago. An elderly man, dressed in nothing but a torn dressing gown, made his way slowly down the street that ran in front of my house. He called for help desperately, croaking out that his entire nursing home was dead or dying, that the nurses had fled, and that he was only looking for help. He was so pitiful that I almost opened my door, if only to offer him some respite from the midday sun and some of my sparse rations. If I had been a second faster, I wouldn't be writing this. Before I could open the door, three people, two men and a woman, pounced from the shadows of a nearby tree. The poor old bastard didn't have a chance. They leapt upon him, frenzied in their dehydration, and sat on him with makeshift tools. It was the most terrifying spectacle of my entire life. One of the men had a hammer, and he set about bashing the old man's joints in, one by one. Crack! 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 I retched a little bile each time the hammer slammed into bone. So sickening was the crunch. The other had a gardening hoe. He hovered above the elderly man, bringing the makeshift weapon down. Once. Twice. The tool cut through the old man's ankles like a steak knife, after the bones had been snapped. The metaphor made me vomit. After I did, I looked back, if only to satisfy my own growing horror. Oh, how I wish I hadn't. The woman, who was weaponless save for her own two hands, had straddled the man's chest. Her hands were spread on the screaming man's face as her own companions butchered him. Then, even as I watched, she dug her thumbs into his eyes. He howled like nothing I'd ever heard before. She dug harder, pushing inwards and outwards simultaneously. When her hands were pulled free, blood and some even less discernible liquid splattered all over her. She grabbed them and ate them like fruit. I could hear the chewing sounds from my door, and they bent to consume the precious blood, and I turned away. I call them the drinkers. There's one thing that's very clear about them. They aren't zombies nor are they affected by some external force that forces them to drink the blood of humans such as a virus or a disease. They're entirely human. I suspect that dehydration affects them worse than it does others, and this forces them to drink blood from humans in a form of pseudo-cannibalism or perish. Survival instinct won't let them perish. They represent the dark side of humanity. The drinkers also seem to recognize each other through some subtle signal. But not being a drinker myself, I wouldn't know it. As far as I possibly could, I took my meager supplies, some small comforts, this journal, and my 357 Desert Eagle up to my bedroom. I pushed the bed against the door with my rapidly fading strength and piled some more furniture on it. The Deagle has a full clip of seven, and I had one to spare. Enough for 13 drinkers, and, well, I'm sure you can imagine what I'll do with the last one. Another six hours passed. I can really feel the dehydration now. My tongue feels numb. My skin feels like sandpaper. I tried to eat some bread before and I almost choke because I have no saliva to moisten my throat with. Now I'm hungry as well as thirsty. I don't even know why I keep writing this. Maybe it's just something to occupy me during the final hours of mankind. Maybe I hold some hope that a solution will be found and somebody in the future will read this and remember what it was like. Maybe I'm just getting delusional. Hours later, it's getting even worse. I'm breathing heavily. I can barely walk, becoming more lethargic. This room feels like a fucking sauna. I can almost see the heat waves bouncing across the room, becoming more and more intense, until I'm literally cooked alive. It's not a pleasant vision. My pen keeps slipping from the page as I suffer random bursts of weakness. I'm scared that I won't even be able to pull the trigger if the time comes. I'm so terribly thirsty. The last time I urinated, it burned like hell. I haven't defecated for a long time now. Can't remember how long. My vision's fading in and out, and my head feels like it's gonna split open from the intense pressure inside. My skin is so dry and leathery. I know I'm dying, and I've still got the Desert Eagle. Maybe I should kill myself before I lose the strength to do so. God knows it's better than dehydrating to death or letting the drinkers get me. Last entry. So thirsty. It's dark. I lost the gun. Vision's almost gone. So thirsty. 
I'm going mad. I'm dying. Wait, what's that? So thirsty. Someone's knocking at the door. They want to be let in. They say the drinkers are coming. Should I? I don't know. Maybe I'll go get a drink. I'm so thirsty. And so I think our humble narrator there became a, a drinker himself. I really like that one because it's not about zombies necessarily. Nobody was infected by a virus. It's just uh, the dark nature of humanity. Really, really original story. So wonderful job to Archfeard. Nicely done. I hope you enjoyed, friends. Okay. I think page 69 is a good one to stop at. That was a weird story, huh? I was surprised that that story was in the first aid book. Hi, Tea Party Animals. How you doing? Great. Good. We got to keep keep an eye out for some more, some more friends to join the party. I think that's what I want to do. Go on a little adventure. Look through some children's rooms. Rob them of their toys since they're dead. But we'll probably need to find some bigger houses. The smaller houses only tend to have adults living in them. Which is sad, you know? They didn't reproduce or nothing. Gosh! Oh, let's let's read this magazine. <clears throat> Try and get rid of my sadness. That's probably why the first aid book had some uh, weird shit going on in it. Mm-hmm. I, I believe that. Believe that! Alright. Uh, shit. I forgot to drop all my stuff off, too. That's why I'm still overweighted. Okay. Bring it in. Everybody, come on. Look at this. You could sleep in the lawn chair? Dang. That would be a, a terrible idea. <laughs> Maybe I could drag that inside. That would be nice. Then I wouldn't have had to go through the pain of uh, trying to find a thread. A needle and thread to make a bed? <laughs> that rhymes. Where's my house? Where's my fucking house? I know I didn't run that far. Or did I? I'm a pretty good runner these days. Hmm. I got lost already. <laughs> I'm so close to my house, but I'm so far. Yeah, I don't recognize this at all. This is not good. Tea Party Animals! Where are you? I'm gonna keep just calling out your name. And if you hear me, holler back. Holler back, girl. Holler back. I'm just trying to bring some, some stuff and put it down in my house. Is that so wrong? I guess it is. Hmm. Blunt accuracy so close to leveling. I'll be able to brain a bunch of zombies standing up and shit like that. There's my house. <laughs> I got lost. You guys didn't help me at all. You're all jerks. You're a bunch of jerks. I hope no zombies wander in, but... I haven't noticed many zombies around my house, so I assume that it's pretty safe. All things considered... Uh, let's see if this will fit. Nope. How about just the flashlights? Sure. They take up a lot of space, though. Two pounds each? What the fuck? What the hell? Don't understand. That's all right. I'll find room. I'll find room to fit these things. Don't you worry. How about some canned chili? Canned chili is so good, whether you're able to heat it up or not. Just, just eat that shit. You're gonna love it. There's some wire and some twine. I'll keep these vitamins. I'll, I'll take some pills. There we go. Peels, peels, peels here. Peels, peels, peels. Francis, Francis. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played some Left 4 Dead. Me and my wifey should sit down and do that at some time soon. Zombies have been like a big thing on my channel. I really fucking love zombie games. I'm I'm not sure why that is How it lures me in so very hard, but every time I see a zombie game. I'm just like want Want to buy Please take my money. Here you go All right So we're kind of offloaded now. I still seem to have like a lot of shit. I guess it's these batteries Okay, we'll put the batteries away <laughs> That's what I gotta do. 
I probably should build some shelves on the lower floor as well. Maybe even organize things. That that might be a good idea, but eh. Eh. That's boring. We did sorting in the last episode. I pulled a bunch of shit out of the fridge. Oh, speaking of which, we should probably visit that uh, supermarché. That would be a good idea. Let's put one of these baseball bats away. Yeah, we could probably put both of them away, except the one that I have is about to break, so... I'll drag it around with me for a little bit longer. Don't need my trowel, necessarily, but I'll... whatever. That's fine. I'll bring it along. Come along for the ride, Mr. Trowel. Trowly, that's what I call him. Don't forget to bring a trowel! <laughs> ah, you want to do some farming? Don't forget to bring a trowel. That's pretty funny. That's funnier than it should be. You just add one letter, the whole meaning changes. Wow. Like if you have a die and then you add a C to it, all of a sudden you have more than one. That's crazy. All I did was put a C, and then they're like, so you have two? Two dice? And I'm like, nah. You got way more than two. I got like 50 now. Whether it's two or 50, it's still just dice. The English language is a mystery to me, man. Let's take this pack of chewing gum. A little bit of mystery seeds. I always love mystery seeds. We should fucking plant more mystery seeds. Even though once you open the seeds, you're like, oh, they're just carrots. <laughs> Everybody calm down. It's just carrots. Hmm. A little bit of goon. Everybody likes some goon. Don't you like some goon? Oh god. Fuck. Shit. Balls. Christ. Okay. <laughs> oh god. I almost had a heart attack. It was almost over before I even before I even started. Look, there's another fucking Beretta. Beretta. Beretta and Retta. <laughs> Things just get ber Beretta and Retta around here. Oh god, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I've lost it. It's gone. Okay. So are either of these loaded? Yeah, this one's pretty loaded. How about the other one? Uh, not as loaded. So I'm going to drop this one and I'll take the other that has uh, a few more rounds in it. And then if I need to uh, shoot something in the head, I'll be able to. Maybe. If my aiming skill was a little higher. But the handgun doesn't weigh that much, so I don't feel bad dragging it around. Oh, you guys, stop freaking me out. You guys, you guys. Look at this. We got some more guns. I'll take this. I'll take all this. Yeah. I have a, a thirst for guns. I gotta convince myself to pick up money and things like that, but guns are just immediately like, okay. You're coming with me. Get used to that idea. Oh, I will leave it behind sometimes. Sometimes. I left uh, a lot of guns back in that in that town, but that's just because I was getting so overweighted, you know? I like how these zombies always have some stuff with them. It's good. If you if you run out of fucking food, you can just be like, I'll brain a bunch of zombies. Find some goodies. Hmm. I guess I left my screwdriver. I was going to take that walkie-talkie apart. That's okay. There are so many zombies around here. I've not been doing my cleaning. So, uh, I guess we'll do a little bit... Not fridge cleaning, because that's uh, a little bit boring. But killing zombies, that's always a good idea. Boom. Boom. Die. Okay, get away. <laughs> oh, scary. Scary, scary. Alright. And then uh, we stop for a little snack. Does that seem like a good idea? Where's my Where's my MRE? Mmm. There we go. We'll just sit down in the middle of this field. Yeah, spaghetti and applesauce. Hell yeah. You know, in the Philippines, they really like fried chicken and spaghetti, which is a combination that I never thought of or considered, really. But dang, it's all over around here. 
And then they get like rice and gravy, which I think is pretty cool. And then you put the gravy on the fried chicken because I'm American. And just uh, don't eat the rice. You don't need that. Nobody likes that. Except for all of Asia. All of Asia loves rice. I guess because it's like easy to grow and shit like that. Oh, getting a little uh, exerted. Little exerted. Did a little too much work. Please just die. Thank you so much. And I'm sure my uh, my baseball bat is not looking looking too great at the moment. Two stars, or two points of a star. Two stars would be great. I'd be like, hell yeah, we're doing the thing now. This is uh, the supermarket that I looted a bit earlier. As you can tell, there are some things that ended up rotten and piled in a, a compost heap. <laughs> Here's some pickles. I'll take some pickles. Tickle my pickle. Yeah, everything else seems rotten. That's funny. Why do pickles last? They're preserved. They're preserved in vinegar. That's amazing. I didn't know that at all. Give me these pickles. I want all the pickles. Pickles are delicious. I often get like a craving for pickles. I don't understand why. I'm just like, I need this. My body needs this now, like a pregnant woman. You know? <laughs> pregnant women. There's a person in there. <laughs> Basically, all I'm looking for now, right now, is pickles. Give me all the pickles. Thank you so much. Watermelon's rotten. That's a shame. That's a damn shame. I tell you what. Watermelon is like one of the things that lasts the longest, I think, in this game. In my experience. Then again, everything could have fucking changed. Um, and they could just adjust. Adjust the uh, the differences or whatever. I'll take some magazines, some orange soda. There's rice. Speak of the devil. Alright. Come with me, rice. And then there's three empty sacks here, which I think used to be full of rice, but I can't. I can't speak on that for sure. Carton of cigarettes. 60 cigarettes, dang. That's a lot of cigarettes, man. What you need that many cigarettes for? This is a lot of rice. We've got fucking six pounds of rice. <laughs> More than I will ever use or eat. Oh, this baseball bat's in shit condition. Not gonna take that. Honey, magazine, orange soda. We left a lot of stuff in here. Holy shit. I don't understand. Why did I make that decision? Okay, so that one bag is filled. Let's try and fill the other bag up. Sunflower seeds. Could I grow some sunflowers or are they just for eating? Hmm. We'll have to do some experimentation. A little bit of experimentation. There's so much rice here. If I just offload the rice that I have, then I can come back here if I want some rice. Which I don't. <laughs> I don't really enjoy rice, okay? That's just me. It doesn't really have a flavor. It's kind of nice because uh, <clears throat> you can you can put a flavor into it. Whatever you put in that rice, it's gonna taste just like that, which is kind of nice, kind of magical. Hmm, salt. I do need salt. Um, I used to put like chicken bouillon cubes in some rice and boil the water up, and then uh, you know cut up some vegetables. You put some fucking broccolis in there, and then you put like uh, serrano chili peppers. Oh my god, that's so good. Fuck. We, we call it chicken rice. <laughs> Me and my roommate used to eat that all the time when I had a roommate. Now I have a wife. My wife is my roommate, which uh, is a lot better, you know? <laughs> she keeps the house really nice. Uh, eat a lollipop from the trash. That's, that's just me, you know? I'm the kind that will eat a lollipop from the trash. She's the kind that uh, keeps the house in working order. <laughs> oh, I love her so. I don't know if I've told you guys that. I tell her every single day I love you so much. But I just want you guys to know. She's on my mind all the time. Sometimes I, uh, I need a few minutes alone. I'm just like, hey, look, honey, I gotta record. 
blah blah blah. And she's like, okay, darling. She's just so understanding of my my weird YouTube thing that I do a lot of times. <laughs> I I I do this basically uh every day, you know? At least a little bit of something every day try and download some some pictures and things like that to make a Pokemon top 10 list. And she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh, just, just downloading pictures, trying to make a top 10 list. And she's like, do you want help? I'm like, okay. Search for pictures of Charizard and send them to me via Facebook. <laughs> she's like, do you like this one? And I'm like, yeah, baby, that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. So, uh... You know that Charizard's going to be in a top 10 list <laughs> coming up. Oh my god, do you hear that? There's a banging. But how did you get in here? Where did you come from? What do you want? Where did he come from? What does he want? Uh, there's more pickles. I'm almost full up anyways, yeah. My bags are, are loaded down. So let's eat up these bait fish. That's so nice. Just enough to get me uh, well fed. Then I can run some of this stuff back. None of this needs to be refrigerated, I don't think. I think pickles are, are fine. Right? Can you, can you keep pickles unrefrigerated? I think so. I'm pretty sure of that. Like... If you see a pickle vendor on the street, <laughs> they don't put ice in their uh, their pickle jar. <laughs> I haven't seen a pickle vendor on the street at all, ever. Except at the Renaissance Fair. That's where I got that idea from. That's right. I remember now. Okay. I want to level up a little bit more. And get some more blunt accuracy. It probably won't make, like, that much of a difference. Not such a notable difference, but it'll make me feel better, that's for sure. Let's do that, and are we there yet? Are we there yet? Seems we're getting two, so maybe one more. Maybe one more's gonna do it. There you go, bitch! Uh Okay, one more. I'll keep an eye out. I'll keep an eye out for him. I think I passed this way already, so they should all be dead. But if I see one more, he's fucking mine. You're mine, son! Get over here! Hmm. Dead, dead, dead. Everybody's dead. Dayton dead. But not yet. You know, one of these days I'll die. And one of these days the whole... The whole shebang of bangs gonna come to an end. And as much as I, uh... Enjoy Project Zomboid, I'll be partially relieved as well. I'll be like, okay... Now I have uh, two days that I can do something else with. Because <laughs> that's important, you know? You gotta keep a variety of content. Although, I'm sure uh, plenty of people have subscribed just for Project Zomboid. Because uh, that's, that's how YouTube works, you know? If you do a certain type of content, then people come there expecting to see that content. And if, uh, if Project Zomboid goes away, then those people might also go away. They're like, oh, he doesn't even do Project Zomboid anymore. See you later. And then I'll cry. I will cry with my eyes and my penis. Not my penis. <laughs> There's only one woman that can make me cry for my penis. It's my old lady. My lady. Let's put some magazines and honey. Hmm. Plenty of room for things on this shelf. Yes. Fill her up. Fucking A. I should probably run all of this stuff back to the other base just so I know where all my guns are. But if I if I get separated somehow from the other base, then I'll be glad that these guns are all here. Right? Right. Salt, pepper, pickles. Put those away. Sunflower seeds. I kind of want to try planting them, but I need six of them if uh, if everything goes the way that I think it does. Which, which I know it does, because I was, I was looking at the zucchinis. Let's put these 32 rounds away. I'll keep the Beretta with me. 
uh, soup, chips, honey, jar lid, this can all go, magazine, orange soda, lots of pickles, salt, are you gonna fit? No. Nope. Doesn't fit. Probably because of all the orange soda. There's just so much orange soda. I don't know what you want. I'll put the honey. Yeah, I think the only thing that's not gonna fit is that orange soda. So I'll have to find a place for it. Might have to build some new shelves. That'll be nice because I'll get the uh, next level of carpentry. Hey, hey, hey! Transfer these sunflower seeds. Um, I can't put just one orange soda on the shelf. I want to keep them together. Or I don't want to keep them together. I don't give a shit. But little Dayton wants to keep them together. Hey, there's an empty shelf. Very nice. That's where those energy drinks are as well. And all this orange soda. Who loves orange soda? <laughs> oh, what a throwback, man. Holy shit. Did he just make a Keenan and Kale reference? <laughs> Unfortunately, I did. Most unfortunately, I did. Uh, I'm gonna eat these chimps. That's a good. That's a good dinner. <laughs> if you don't have a wife, just eat chips. You know, nobody's gonna judge you. Nobody's there to tell you not to. You can do whatever you want. Eat some chips for dinner. Nobody gives a shit about you or your health. <laughs> I give a shit. I don't want you to eat chips for dinner unless you want to. If you want to, then I'm like fucking go for it, man. More power to ya! I'm gonna try and plant some sunflowers out in front of my house. I think that'll be nice. That'll be quite nice, right? Yeah. They're not plantable. Damn it. Peanuts are plantable. Dang, I didn't know you could plant peanuts. Sunflower seeds, pumpkins. I haven't seen seeds for a lot of this stuff, so... Yeah, I'd be pretty surprised. Minimum water, maximum water, average grow time. Dang, this is all useful stuff to pay attention to. I don't think it was here the... A few episodes, 40 plus episodes back when I was actually trying to grow stuff. Hmm. Most interesting. 26 days, 28 days, 14 days. Which seems like a really fucking long time, but it's not actually. <laughs> Um, so now I got all these sunflower seeds. I guess I could just snack. I could just snack on them. That's pretty good. Who doesn't want to go to Betty Bed with a full tummy tum? That's right. I'm gonna eat some more... A couple more sunflower seeds. I don't know how many S is. Plus five hunger. I guess it's about ten sunflower seeds. So I got fifty more rolling around in my doctor bag alongside the, uh, fucking bottle of detergent. <laughs> And my dirty axe. <laughs> Anyways, friends, this has been Project Zomboid. 8 o'clock, my bedtime. Time to go sleepy sleep. But I hope that you'll join me for the next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. Because it helps the channel to grow. Which is uh, basically the whole goal on YouTube. That's how you win. Although there is no winning. Uh, winning is just having you like the, like the video. If there's one person besides me that likes the video, I'm like, fuck yeah, good video. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you supporting the channel, especially if you've watched this far. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope that you join us for the next time. I'll see you then, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend